Welcome back y'all. We're here with our final video on our octopus crochet along. We are on the final step. Um, so today we will finish it. We are going to finish up with the tentacles and then weaving in our ends. Um, so you're going to chain 50 and then you're going to crochet two or three into each chain stitch and it'll start curling and it'll resemble tentacles which I'm going to show you how to do that anyway and then you're going to single crochet or slip stitch into the following stitch and then go into the one after that and do it again 50 and then two to three in each chain so are you ready here we go one two three Oops, lost the hook there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we have chained our 50. Um, so now we're going to go into the chain the second chain from the hook so right here okay and we're gonna you can single crochet two or three what I usually do is three in the first and then two in the next and then three and then two I don't know why it's just what I do and it makes a really nice curl so let's do three one oops it's catching one two and then three and you can continue to do three in each or two in each it really doesn't matter the pattern will tell you you can do either or I just alternate because it's I don't know it makes a nice curl all right so we got our three now on to two and the next stitch one And then we're going to go to the next one and do three. One. Two. Three. And then two. One. Two. And you see how it's already starting to curl? So that's why I do it that way. Um, one thing to note, um, you want to stay in the same loop. So the pattern says you can either crochet into the back loop or the front loop, but make sure if you start in the back loop to continue in the back loop, or if you start in the front loop, continue in the front loop. Otherwise it's not gonna curl right and it's gonna look all wonky and weird. So I am crocheting into the back loop and I will continue into the back loop. And you wanna make sure as you go that your chain is not twisted um, because again, that will make it look all wonky and not all pretty and twisty. So, here we go again. All right, so I'm only a few chains and you see how pretty and curly it is? So it's actually going to shrink a lot. Um, now I'm gonna keep going and I will show you the finished tentacle in just a minute. All right, so we're done with that tentacle. You can see it's nice and pretty and curly. Um, if you did the alternating right, you should end on two single crochet in the last chain. I think I messed up because I ended up having to do um, a couple of them out of order, but that's okay. It really doesn't matter. You can see how cute and curly it is. It's just a preference, I think, for that. As long as you do it in the same back loop or front loop that you started in, you'll be good. All right, so next step, you're gonna crochet one single crochet into the next stitch right next to the chain. Okay. We can get it out. <laughs> okay, there we go. And now you're gonna go into the following stitch and single crochet one and now you're gonna chain 50 and do it all over again three single crochet in one and two in the other or however you did it in the first one
great. So occasionally, depending on how you hold your tentacle, it might start to curl kind of like this. But fear not, it's super easy to just twist it back how it's supposed to. You're still doing it right, don't freak out. All right, done with tentacle number two, and we're gonna move on. I'm gonna show you again how we um, move into the headpiece again. So again, we're gonna, we've chained into this one. So now we're gonna go to the following stitch right here and we're gonna do a single crochet. Or a slip stitch I think would work, but make sure you do the same thing every time I'm doing chain, I mean a uh, single crochet because it works better for me. Okay, so single crochet into the next stitch after your chain. And then you're gonna go into the following stitch again and a single crochet and chain 50 and do another tentacle. And we're gonna do this for a total of eight tentacles. All right guys, that's it. So I am finished with all eight tentacles and I've done my last um, single crochet. So now I'm gonna slip stitch into this last stitch, the first chain that we made. Okay. And then I'm gonna pull up kind of a large loop and then I'm gonna cut the yarn off the skein and pull it all the way through. And then I'm going to weave in this end and we will be completed. All right guys, I will be the first to admit I suck at weaving in ends, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. So. I have it on my little yarn needle. It's just a plastic one that I got in a kit with a bunch of stuff. These scissors came in the kit as well. I'll try to link that below. But anyway, okay, so here we go. I usually weave by just kind of stitching into the stitches. You want to bring it up to the head, not the tentacles, because it'll stay better. Sorry, I'm trying to keep in camera and watch what I'm doing at the same time and my camera's going blurry. So, let's see. Maybe if I zoom out a little bit, then it's in. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just kind of working it in and down at the same time. And I'm going to try to just kind of weave it into the base here. see that and then I'm just gonna kind of come up through the cap and then go back down into the cap but out through like the first row on the head right here and that's just kind of what I'm gonna do until I run out of yarn and then I'm gonna stitch it I'm gonna try to keep the tail like ending up here on the cap somewhere We'll see how that goes. All right, I think I've been through most of it. So what I'm gonna do now, it just came off the needle. I'm going to, ugh, hold on. Rethread my needle, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, close enough. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is just kind of try to stitch through a couple stitches and then tie a knot. And then I'm gonna finish it off like by cutting it off. All right, so it's come off the thingy again, but I got it underneath. So I'm going to shove this through the loop and pull it tight. And then we will cut it as close as possible and we are done. All right guys, that's it, we're done. We have finished our octopus. I hope you enjoyed this crochet along and um, send pictures to my Facebook account. Um, you can look it up, it's in the description box. Just go over there and post your pictures in the comments. I'd love to see your finished octopus. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, bye guys.